So Sniper Elite is a series I happen to love very much, more often than I really should, and it's definitely possible that we are going to get a Sniper Elite 6 installment in the near future, within the next few years I'd say. So I wanted to put together a wish list of sort of stuff that I would like to see personally in the next installment of this series. So one big change I would like to see is in the locations and the enemies that we fight in the next installment, whether it's the Pacific Theater in the 1940s or whether it's time jumping to the Cold War in the 1960s in Vietnam or somewhere else, some other proxy war between the Soviets and the Western nations, I would like to see a change in the enemies that we fight or the environment that we fight in. No matter how you put it, the last five games we've dealt exclusively with World War II and the Nazis, with other enemies thrown in such as the Royal Italian Army and the Japanese Navy in Sniper Elite 5, and also dealing with the Soviets in Sniper Elites 1 and 2. I think myself and a lot of other people in the community would like to see a change of pace and progress towards something else, whether it's being with World War II or whether it's a different era. How could you do this though? How can you possibly take a series that is dealt exclusively with World War II and the Nazis and give it to somebody else and something else, like a different location. It doesn't have to be a different era, it could be the 1940s still, but you could be fighting the Japanese in the Pacific Theater. We have not gotten a Sniper Elite yet where we have dealt exclusively with that. And the Sniper Elite 5 installment recently gave us an implication that we might get a Pacific Theater game in the future through having the Japanese Navy officers present in France in 1944, who collaborated with Abelard Muller on Operation Kraken in Sniper Elite 5. So I think that's a pretty good indication of the direction that we might be heading in. Not definitely confirmed, it's just speculation on my part and you know, of others in the community, but I have seen a lot of people talk about and get excited over the idea of going to the Pacific Theater, whether it's being as Carl Fairburn or another character. You can even introduce a whole new character that doesn't have to do anything with the European front or the Africas. You can just have them exclusively to the Pacific Theater for this one game and maybe go back to Carl in the next one. But if Rebellion and the Sniper League community is going to insist on having new games every few years we need to have something to progress to we have to have some kind of progression to shoot for so i personally think that whether it's fighting the japanese on the pacific theater in the 1940s or if we time jump to the cold war and fight somebody else i think one of those is necessary if sniper elite's going to continue and have it still be fresh and new and exciting now also, I wouldn't be opposed to the idea of a Russian front Sniper Elite game. However, it might be hard to fit Carl in there because Carl is the main character of the series. Everybody loves Carl. He's, he's a stand, he's, he's a stand-up guy and he gets the job done. Everybody likes Carl. I like Carl, everybody likes Carl. But it's not impossible to introduce another character, considering that Rebellion in all their games, including the Zombie Army series, like to come up with new characters and new character profiles that are playable in these games, such as Monica in Sniper Elite 5, um, such as the Soviet the Soviet lady in Sniper Elite 4, and in the Zombie Army trilogy, and in the Zombie Army 4 games, they have come up with a lot of different characters including Marie Chevalier. Marie Chevalier was originally in the Sniper Elite trilogy before Sniper Elite 5 even happened, so they made something out of that character, but I want to maybe see them try again with a different setting and maybe come up with a new standalone character that doesn't have to ride the coattails of Carl Fairburn that could be his own or her own character. If you're going to have Carl still in the Cold War setting, he would be much older, he could train a sniper brigade of younger snipers, and maybe that's where the game could start off. Uh, Carl's practically on the practically on the bank of retirement, but it wasn't uncommon to see guys who fought in the real World War II then go on to still be in the military around the Vietnam era. A lot of factors of the Cold War started because of World War II originally anyway, so if you could just build off that idea, it would be a really fun game, I think. Up next on this list is full body customization. Now, what do I mean by that? As it stands in the Sniper Elite series right now, you have a small 
customization menu, being able to customize what which character you play as, or what skins they wear as you play them, or, you know, you have a small selection of hats that don't really match the characters anyway. So I would like to see a complete overhaul of the customization character system in the Sniper Elite series. Let me reference you to another game that I play and I think is really good, but it has sort of nothing to do with World War II, but it is a good game. So Deep Rock Galactic is a game where you play as a dwarf and you go on missions and you shoot bugs and you mine. That game has a good customization system where you have the four classes of characters that you play as you could choose from any one of them and they all have their own set patterns of weapons and skins and colors but you could still customize the full body of them you can choose what outfit they wear you could choose to have your sleeves rolled up or rolled down and i think that would be a cool idea to have say take sniper elite 3 carl fairburn for example say if we were playing sniper elite 3 i would like to see something like if he's wearing his africa core outfit maybe you could roll the sleeves down or maybe you can pick individual pieces of that outfit to modify or take off completely like if you want to wear a belt you could put on a belt if you want to take a satchel off of him for a, a different look you could take the satchel off of him i know that would be a lot of effort to go through but i don't think the rebellion teams when they develop these games are particularly lazy it's just they have oversights and they forget about some features because sniper elite 5 was missing some features that previous games have had but i would like to see a complete overhaul of the customization system in sniper elite so whether that's full body stuff or if you put carl in a tank top and you know just combat boots and pants and then he goes running killing nazis whatever it's player's choice and that's the key there player's choice what could progress this game series forward is giving the player more choice over what they have not just being able to equip a full ghillie suit and nothing else or a full french resistance outfit and not being able to change any aspect about it i think you would bring a fresh take on the sniper elite series customization system to have an element of uh, modifying and changing small pieces of that same outfit especially if you're starting off the game and you haven't unlocked any outfits at least let us be able to modify the look of the outfit so it's it feels more unique to us I think that would be a really good a really good change and I thought I would put that on this list because I don't think many people would talk about that aspect or even think about that aspect but I thought about it heavily and I would like to see that in these games I think it would be very cool to see so those of you who are unfamiliar or who haven't played the first Sniper Elite game, there was a feature in that game that was a disguise mechanic. In the first mission of that game, it showcases you dressed up as a German sniper. Carl is under disguise in Nazi-occupied Berlin, and it's being bombed out, and the Soviets are there as well, but he is dressed up as a German soldier. He's dressed up as a German sniper. And it played with the idea of being able to use this for the Germans. Like, you could sneak past Germans, or you could walk past them, and they won't even attack you or do nothing. However, that that really just quickly dropped in, like, the second mission. They just didn't do anything with it afterwards, after that first mission. They played with the idea, they, they teased you with it, and then they just dropped it in the middle of the game, and it hasn't been useful since then, because every mission after that was either you required to sneak past Soviet encampments, or take on the Germans in full force. So it just really dropped the idea of the customization feature. And I was really hot on that idea when I played that game for the first time is, oh, I can dress up as a German sniper. I can just go undercover and not be instantly shot by them. In the first mission, yeah, but all of the mission encounters in the first mission are scripted anyway. So when you go into this one room in that first mission of Sniper Elite 1, you go into that one room with an ammo cache in it. There's two guys, two German soldiers up above on a catwalk, and they don't do anything with you, but it's scripted that a tank just runs full force through the wall you just came into in the building, and the Soviets are coming out of the tank, and they just kill the two German soldiers, and they try to kill you, and so on and so forth. So this feature was not 
implemented right and they never tried again after that so i would like to see another attempt at this disguise mechanic i would like to be able to have the option if i wanted to sneak past the german soldiers just by walking in the front door now maybe you can have elements of maybe a german soldier might randomly ask you to come over and if you don't you raise suspicion you know you can have small elements like that that would create it a more living world too at the same time of being able to implement this disguise mechanic you don't want it to be too easy to where you're just gonna be running circles around the germans and they won't even know because you do that anyway even without the disguise but i would like to see them try again with the disguise mechanic i want to be able to fool a german soldier i want to be able to just walk right past them because carl's german born and he does speak german so i mean it, it's kind of there for the taking already but i'm not saying for it to be completely easy maybe throw in an element of maybe a german soldier or a german officer gets suspicious wants to inspect your papers or wants to inspect you maybe that's the case maybe you would have to still sneak past major checkpoints instead and maybe just crawl through the bushes for a little bit but then Put on the uniform or keep it on at the start of the mission and just be able to fool some grunt soldiers or some grunt officers. I think it would be really cool to see if they could do that. I, I would love to see if they could do that. So I'm not saying make it easy, but just maybe implement it and see where that goes. And maybe it could be a hit. So one aspect that people have been asking for a long time when it comes to Sniper Elite is day and night cycles. And I, I'm on the fence about it. I would like to see it too. But at the same time, it's not really needed because most of these missions, well, actually every mission in Sniper Elite games usually is only supposed to be within a day and it doesn't go on until the night. Usually we progress through time through a cutscene or in the next mission, it's already nighttime, so you don't really have to worry about that. But I would like to see if you play the mission a long time, if it would maybe go from midday to dusk, like you could see the sun setting and eventually go into nighttime. But then maybe just stop it there. You wouldn't have to make it be morning again because story-wise and mission-wise, it wouldn't make any sense for Carl to be taking all night to do a pretty simple task of maybe locating some documents or blowing something up or assassinating an officer that's just not something I see as good and if you're going to do day and night cycles give us the option to play the same missions again but maybe if we want to do it at different times like midday or dawn or dusk have a set parameter of time that the mission could be played in and then just stop it like if it goes to sunset keep it at sunset and go no further maybe if we play uh, spy academy on daytime let us go in at night dude do you know how how badly i wanted to see spy academy done at nighttime that big castle that's my favorite map in sniper elite 5 is the spy academy mission i love that map it was i think in my opinion the best map on on that game and it would have been so cool to see it lit up at night with all the lights the searchlights, the luftwaffe lights and you know maybe an aerial attack happening by the allies and AA gun fire shooting up. It would, be, it would have been so cool if, if we saw that. So maybe in the next installment we can get something like that. I think that would be really cool to see. It's not that Sniper Elite games overall need to be changed completely, but it's quality of life stuff and maybe little things that add variety to games such as Sniper Elite. If you just have it be the same formula over and over and over again with nothing changing, which is not what they do. They change stuff, but, you know, little changes like that could go a long, long way. And a lot of people want to see stuff like that, I think. But the day and night cycles, it's not a, it's not a must. It's just something that I wish I could see. It'd be fun to see what they do with it. Not, not too deep of a topic on that one. Day and night cycles isn't really a deep topic. So, so do with it what you will. Day and night cycles would be cool, though. So food health items is not a big one either. I just sort of came up with the idea from Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein is a very different game compared to Sniper Elite. But one aspect of Wolfenstein that's in that is food health items. Like you could pick an apple up and it gives you five health. So I would like to see something like that in Sniper Elite where 
as for example in france they have all this plated food and you know for uh, french food is supposed to be really good and stuff but you can't eat it it's just a set piece in the environment that you just walk past anyway so i would like maybe to have the food items be something that you can get health from even if it's little health because it goes a long way if you can get a food health item when you have no actual medical supplies like say if you run out of bandages or med kits and you happen to be gunned down if you got caught if you got surrounded and you were in a house somewhere and there's just food health items to sustain you until you escape or kill all the guys trying to kill you that'd be a pretty cool thing to see uh, you know just have some plated food being able to eat it and get some health from it being able to heal maybe say one health bar or two health bars depending on how much is there just enough to where it would help you out a little bit or maybe you can have it to be where the food slowly heals you over time sort of how like when a sniper shoots you you bleed over time unless you heal with a bandage but if you heal with food items instead of repairing uh, three three or four health bars maybe just it goes slowly up over time for a certain duration and then it stops you can have that as well I think it would be a cool thing to have uh, food healing items food health items when you don't have any medical supplies available and you're caught you're caught out so I think that would be a pretty cool thing to see this one's another small generic one but animals it's not that there's not animals in sniper elite already but the kind of animals that are in sniper elite and zombie army series isn't impactful zombie army 4 actually went through a lot of effort of having collectibles and weird voodoo stuff and zombie rats running around and you can get vermin kills on crows and rats and stuff in that game i would like to see that aspect put in the regular sniper elite series there's things like uh doves in sniper elite 5 that give away your position like a flock of doves uh flies away and alerts germans because they just see a, a whole flock of of birds just flying away at once and it alerts them to your position that is one good example of how they can affect the world and that makes it a more living world but i would like it to go a step further and i would like to have german shepherd dogs like guard dogs patrols being able to sniff you out at a certain distance or something else and that would be really cool to try and sneak past German guard dogs, German shepherds, you know, they're really good. They were infamous in World War II for guarding camps and stuff. It would be really cool to have them. Or if you did the Pacific Theater, it'd be really cool to have something like maybe crocodiles in that region. Depending on the region that you're in, you're in the South Pacific, so maybe there's something there. So maybe, for example, you can lure a Japanese soldier over to a pond or a lake, not a pond, it would be like a lake or a, a water outlet leading to the ocean. It would be really cool if you could lure a Japanese soldier over to the lake and have a crocodile grab a hold of them and just eat them. That would be a really cool environmental kill. It would count as an environmental kill, I guess. But that would be a really cool thing to see is just being able to lure a Japanese soldier over with a, like a rock or a bottle or something and then just have them get eaten by alligators. I think that would be so cool. That would be really cool to see. But animals, you know, just in general, depending on the setting or what they're needed for, German guard dogs, alligators in the Pacific, keep the birds again, or rats. You know, rats could alert too you know whatever you want to do but animals overall i think would be a great addition to the series it would create a more living world and it would give more gameplay elements that you have to look out for and would make you think more about your actions going through the map that would be a very good implementation of player choice and how it affects how you play the game afterwards so i think that'd be really cool to see and it would be a really good surprise if they added something like that. That would be so cool. Gun functionality is a pretty broad one. So pretty much what I envision with that is a continuation of what they did in Sniper Elite 5 where you have a reload mechanic and you can reload faster depending on if you have your mouse within that line on that little wheel there. If you miss it, you reload at the normal speed. If you click it correctly, you have a faster reload than where you don't mess up i would like to see more gun functionality like that maybe being that 
if you use your gun enough, maybe it will jam and you have to clear the jam. Or if you miss the reload, sort of like how you did in Sniper Elite 5, it takes a longer time instead of normal speed. Sometimes you have the chance of having a jam and Carl has to clear the jam, so you're reloading longer. I would like to see something like that, or if you're in a snowy environment, depending on the direction that the game goes in, maybe if you're in a snowy environment, if you look down your scope long enough, it could fog up and you have to wipe it off or just exit your scope and then go back into it. So, small things like that I think would be really cool because it affects how you play the game again and it has something to do with the environment or with how your skills are with reloading and other things like that that's a pretty small one too but more gun functionality with the rifles and the guns itself just my mi minor details rebellion has always been good at details in the sniper elite games in the past more recently some features have gotten lazy for example in sniper elite 4 the front of your scope isn't even there like there's no lens it's just a flat surface flat polygon so i think if they can overcome doing little lazy stuff like that i think it'd be really good to see how they can implement more gun functionality small features like that maybe even just cleaning the gun maybe if you do a combat roll enough your rifle might get dirty and it fires less so it jams more maybe you have to clean it depends on the gun you have as well because some guns in history are more reliable than others when it comes to mud but you know weapon maintenance is something that maybe they could play around with sort of like how you have in red dead redemption 2 where you have to clean your gun after a certain amount of time i'm not saying that's a must i'm not saying it's a must on my list but it would be nice to see so better dlc is exactly what it sounds like the dlc for sniper elite 5 was minimal and it wasn't very good We've got a couple DLC missions, we've got DLC skins, but the DLC skins aren't great and the missions are, eh, you know, need improvement on. I would like to see them in the next game put more effort in prolonging the game's lifespan and more replayability for the game itself. Because the way they did Sniper Elite 5, they released a couple DLCs that were lackluster, one good mission, Operation Kraken, or Kraken Awakes is what the mission's called. And then they just released the complete edition of Sniper Elite 5 after a, a time. And now they've just completely moved on. No more DLC for the game. N nothing. And I don't think that's how they should be going about it. I think to give their games more life and replayability, they should keep up with DLC and having better DLC. Or if they're going to cut off DLC at some point, make the DLC better. Maybe take us to places in the missions we've never been before because you know some of the dlc missions i didn't have any interest in getting because they just looked all the same or it was like oh a G german fortress here here's another one it looks like a castle kind of like spy academy on the stage two and that just didn't really interest me i would like to have something like we jump around the world maybe if you're going to do dlc missions maybe just make it completely unrelated to sniper elite 5's main story like for example maybe you could flash back to when poland was taking over if you're going to introduce characters like monica in sniper elite 5 maybe give these characters their own mission and we can get to know them better and you can flesh out their characters more maybe you could play as monica during the polish invasion not, not the polish invasion during the german invasion of warsaw or poland in general maybe you can have it to be where she or another character fought off the nazis as best they could but had to escape and came back later to be part of the resistance uh in poland or in france you know because monica just sort of struck me out of just being out of nowhere she's just a character that's there rebellion introduces these characters but they don't don't really do anything with them so if they're going to do dlc do it this way have them have their own missions and have us in a different place than what we've been to already so if monica's be going to be in the game but having nothing to do with 1944 france then you should put her in her own mission in 1939 1940 or late war during the polish resistance to occupation just have her have her own mission it doesn't have to be multiple missions just do one mission 
per character if you're going to have DLC missions or bring it back to Carl in the next DLC mission. You know, there's so many things you could do with it other than what they've done with it already. And just better DLC is something that I think we would all like to see. Better, better skins better customization options, better weapon skins than what we've had previous, more practical weapon skins, I think, too. Just something that shows that you're not half-assing DLC that people are paying for and actively buying, and also setting it at a reasonable price would maybe give you some brownie points, too. But just better DLC is something we would all like to see, and that's why I included it on this list. Let me know down in the comments what you think you'd like to see in Sniper Elite 6. If you agreed with my points, if you disagreed with my list, let me know. I'd like to have a discussion about it in the comments section. I love it when we have a discussion in there. It's really cool, and I, I'm eager to hear other people's thoughts. And going into the Rebellion Discord and talking about this kind of stuff, I like doing as well. So, you know, there's a lot of discussion that happens in there. And I didn't even scratch the surface of what we could get in a sniper elite sniper elite could be so good if rebellion just puts in the effort and just adds things that are worth adding and sniper elite overall is not a bad series if you've never even heard of sniper elite i don't know why you even clicked on this video but if you've never played it it's a, it's a good series you sh if you're interested in world war ii and you know killing nazis it's a good series to have maybe you'll consider subscribing to the youtube channel i post stuff about history i like world war ii i like video games and i try in my own way to sort of combine the two and you know see if you like that thank you everybody so much for hearing me out i hope you have a good day and i'll talk to you later